What you guys got another TV box review? This one is from B Link, and this one is a small miniature type uh, size TV box, as you can see by the box here. Let's take a look at the specs. This is the B Link A1, and you can see it has the RK3328 quad core, and that's the Cortex A53 processor running at 1.5 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes of memory, 16 gigabytes of storage. Uh, supports Wi-Fi of A, B, G, N and AC, 2.4 GHz and 5.8 GHz. Um, also Bluetooth 4.0, USB 3.0 and 2.0 ports on there as well. And also we have Android 7.1 operating system. So this is everything you're going to get in the box. You're going to get your user manual and this is just one page as you can see here. And this will tell you how to use uh, your TV box is very easy to do as you can see here pictures and English text Also, you're going to get your remote control now the remote control will uh, do a perfectly good job with this TV box But you can use other types of remotes and keyboards and touchpads and stuff like that if you want to uh, But I prefer to use one of these ones what you're seeing on the screen right now or a Logitech uh, keyboard and touchpad and also for gaming, I prefer to use one of these types of remotes, but you can use one of these if you wish, and that works perfectly fine with this TV box. You're also gonna get your HDMI cable. This is to plug into your box and your uh, TV, as you can see here. It's just a standard HDMI cable. These are not very sort of long, they're a very short type of cable, but you get this pretty much with all TV boxes. You're going to get your power adapter, nice small power adapter here, as you can see. This is a two uh, pinned uh, power adapter, so I will need to use an adapter here uh, in the UK. Not sure if they do UK plug one, but you can check that out for yourself. There's also a jack on the end here, which is going to plug straight into the actual TV box itself. Now the TV box is uh, Diddy, it really is, as you can see here, very, very small and compact. And uh, looking at the front here, you do have uh, some sort of LED uh, display here, which will be nice. Um, as you can see, down the side, we have our micro SD card here, and also USB 3.0 port and USB 2.0 port on there as well. On the back, we have our AV port, our uh, Ethernet port on here, our HDMI port, and also our input for our power, which is our 5 volt uh, power on here. So as you can see, a very, very small uh, TV box indeed. I do like the look of it, and these are really, really discreet, as you can see here, no bigger sizes here. It does have this rubber uh, type backing on here, and also you can see some ventilation on here. This is probably your reset button here, this little hole uh, to reset the device. Now I'm not sure if there's any tape on this. There is a bit of tape. I think you can. This uh, sticky stuff here, I think there's some sticky stuff underneath here which I can peel back and I think this will then stick uh, to the wall. So you could actually mount this onto a wall if you wish or onto the back of the TV which will be even better. So a really nice design. I do like that from B-Link. Uh, they do uh, do some nice TV boxes. So let's get this onto the TV and take a look at some of the uh, specs and what it can actually do. So this is the actual desktop of the B-Link A1. And as you can see, you've got Google Play Store where you can download all your games and also all your applications via the Google Play Store as long as you've got an account, which is a nice touch. Also, you've got your clock here, your date and time, and also your browser so you can browse the internet your video section here, you can see it's found my uh, Plex media server NAS drive here. It's picked that up, so that's good. That means I can stream content from there straight onto my TV box. Also, you've got file, image, audio, and video section here, and you can see it's detected my USB uh, device as well. You have a little maintenance area here where you can clear up some space uh, just by clicking on it, and this clears up all the uh, apps and stuff that you have been using and clears up a bit of cache. Inside here, we've got all our applications. This is all the applications that you're gonna get pre-installed uh, when you get your TV box. Now also, again, you're gonna have the explore section here. This is gonna allow you to explore your TV box. You can see internal flash, net hood, USB, uh, SD card, and the system uh, is routed, so you'll be able to uh, access all this area really easy. So you can see the download section here, 
movies and stuff like that you can access all this area via there also we've got our settings panel here which pops out from the side here you can see all your settings here now this is running android uh, 7.1.2 it's a the android security patch was april 5th 2017 so it's the very latest and the model is the b-link a1 now you do have some other areas here some little sliders here which you can slide across and add more apps here go back to the center and you can do one to the left as well which means you can add plenty of applications inside here you've already got this little panel here where you can add and remove stuff as well if you want to you can see this is how it comes stock uh, from the factory uh, nothing else there you've got your little icons down here for your connection for ethernet also uh, wireless bluetooth and uh, usb and your power and your speaker here so those are those features on the desktop there now you can also use other launchers as well if you want to so let's go into the explorer area here and play some samples here i'm going to play this jellyfish 120 megabits per second 10 bit ultra hd and we're going to use the video player that's built into the actual unit here and see what it looks like as you can see it works perfectly fine no jerkiness nice and smooth and that's exactly what you want uh, from a TV box. Now, this is also coming from uh, a USB uh, device, so it's pulling this off a USB device and playing it onto your uh, screen here, which gives you nice, uh, smooth playback. So that's important for TV boxes. Now, some of the TV boxes uh, out there will be jerky and stuff when you're playing this sort of 10-bit uh, files. It will struggle. But as you can see, this has no problems at all. So let's do one more here and have a little look no problems again as you can see and uh, no problems there absolutely fine and I'll just show you one more here again nice and smooth I do love these uh, time-lapse very cool so let's move on to something else here as you can see nice and smooth for this uh, type of video as well so we have no problems playing videos back. YouTube plays really well as, as well. If you want to play YouTube videos and stream them down, they stream down perfectly fine here, as you'll see. And uh, you just go full screen here and you'll be able to stream your content straight down. So if this is plugged into the back of your TV and you've got it in your living room, you'll be able to watch YouTube, stream videos, movies, play music, do whatever you like with it. As you can see, no problems whatsoever. Now the benchmark score is 29,746, so it's not going to break any records, but it is a, a score nevertheless, as you can see there. Now also uh, moving on to some gaming, it does play games, and uh, you can play uh, Asphalt and all those types of games. I've been hooked on this game just of late, and uh, it's a pretty cool game. Uh, but it's a really simplistic game and it can handle these no probably angry birds all those types of games so you'll have no problems playing those beach buggy racer plays all those from the google play store no problems whatsoever now let's take a look at some of the specs here uh, of the actual box itself as you can see it's rock chip uh, the manufacturer b-link a1 model and also as you can see here we've already mentioned ak rk3328 four gigabytes of installed memory CPU, as you can see here, four cores on there. So have plenty for doing what you need to do. And also we did mention the chip already earlier on in the video. Now you can see we do have the Mali 450 MP and also the screen resolution 1280 by 720. So those uh, videos on YouTube will be streaming down at 720p. And again, Android, Android version 7.1.2 nugget nugget how you want to pronounce that also the device is rooted as you can see here as well which is always a plus sign that the security patch level is uh, 2017 moving on to the thermal so as you can see fluctuating a bit uh, 61 63 65 down to 60 and that's celsius so that's pretty cool uh, running especially when we've been benchmarking and playing games on it and this is your apps here so the main screen is what you're seeing here now you can install Kodi on here it doesn't come pre-installed but if you want to download it you can do and install those you can run apk files on here if that's what you want to do um, also you can see here Kodi, the latest version just installed it no problems at all and let's just see what the system resources look like running Kodi. 
and you can see here the CPU is running very uh, little there there's not a lot of CPU usage and also the system memory is doing okay as well and we have just been uh, benchmarking and stuff like that so that's pretty good results for Kodi users who want to do that now also I'll just play a quick video here for you in Kodi you can stream through Kodi as well if you've got files onto say a USB drive just like that anyway I'm going to wrap this one up. I hope this one helps you out, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, you can go to my main YouTube channel here, click on the red subscribe button, and also what's really important is hit that bell notification button, and this will notify you when I upload new videos. Don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.